Hi, I'm Alan Socal, and I may be able to help you out with this product. This is the Sysenpro RGB Video Light, and I'm going to put in the last word, kit. This is a kit version of what I just recently reviewed, which was this RGB portable panel light. And uh, I'm going to start out by telling you that this panel light on its own, in my opinion, and at the price point that I reviewed it at, $50, okay, it's one of the best little panel lights I've seen in quite a while. And um, I notice now, after I've reviewed it, it's no longer available. However, it's interesting to see that this kit package uh, is still available and it carries the same item here but here's the big difference this particular item is now a kit and what I'm gonna do is sort of give you just a quick input on whether I think this is in fact a good value okay well as I've often said let's sort of do the math here um, Let's start with the cost of this kit, and I didn't bring the tripod out, the uh, larger light stand tripod, because I, I just felt it wasn't necessary. I want to focus on the value of this kit and the quality, and uh, overall I'm not disappointed, uh, but uh, I, I'm a little not as comfortable with the pricing of this kit package since I've already reviewed and have a value in my mind for the light itself, which is an excellent portable panel light. So first of all, this kit uh, at the time of this review, $190, I think this is $189.99, but you know, we always round up, right? And uh, again, uh, I've gone from a $50 light to the kit. Well, if two of these makes up the kit, which it does, then let's just pretend that there's just one set here, one panel light kit, just a single. But in reality, remember, 190 for the double. So if you divide 190 by two, any mathematicians out there, <laughs> Uh, so that's going to be 50 plus 45 is 95 dollars, right? Okay, that's how I do it in my head. Uh, so I'm looking at a 95 dollar package. Well, if I know that this light had been sold for 50, and maybe it was just a test, maybe it was a market test, 50 from 95 is 45. So if you take out the light, and you just offer the, uh, well, you know, I think they included this, the, um, the little uh, rope handle thing here. Uh, and they included the uh, recharge uh, cable. Uh, and I think they also included this item, which because the light has a rather large battery, I think it's 4,800 uh, milliamp your hour, this is actually the cable that you can plug into the output and use this as a power bank, a little under uh, you know, 5,000 milliampere. Uh, so what you're getting new with this kit is the larger tripod, and it's in a box over on that side of the uh, recording area. You also get, and I'm not kidding when I say it, this is a really nice molded case. Um, it's got the Sysen Pro logo on it. I know that sounds a little ridiculous, but hey, uh, and uh, it's form fitted for the extra items here, which in this case, the, the case is new to me. Uh, this little mini tripod, I've got a few of these. I mean, yes, you can fold them up and they're teeny. Um, this was in the other kit. This is the ball mount. Um, so I'm just going to drop it into this recess, which is made for that ball mount. Uh, you also, in the single light uh, package I reviewed, 
I did not get a, um, a light uh, uh, dispersion unit. I can't think of the name right now. And I didn't get this honeycomb affair, which I believe is a way of creating somewhat a barn door effect where the uh, light becomes a bit more directional. You can certainly correct me if I'm wrong, but that's what it looks like. Uh, the mini tripod here, the large tripod that's over there, the honeycomb directional device, which by the way fits right here in this little pocket. Okay, well that's not bad. As does the uh, light dispersion cover. Uh, that uh, the light softening device it well it would go in there I'm not going to fiddle with it right now but it does they both fit in the top and then uh, uh, this center section takes your cabling like so and the the lanyard this <laughs> I just remembered this is the lanyard so the lanyard can go back in and uh, then of course the light goes right on top and then you just zip this puppy up like so. I'm uh, going to uh, drop in a portion of my previous um, video recording uh, for my previous review because it'll explain this light a little bit for you. So let's take a look at my review from the previous uh, package which was just the light with the basics, the cabling, and a satchel and the ball mount. Hi, I'm Alan SoCal and I'm going to review the Sysenpro SL218RW. And what is it? Well, it's a very nice portable panel light. So we're going to take that closer look and I'll just review all of the items that comes with this, if you will, kit. Okay, well, firstly, obviously, you get the Sisen Pro light. This is the back side showing some of the uh, controls, the display. And then, of course, when I turn it around, there's the uh, LED array. Uh, so you get the light. You also get the instruction uh, pamphlet, and uh, I've gone through it. It uh, pretty much, the, the unit was intuitive. But uh, the instructions will sort of uh, back up whatever you're questioning. And uh, it's uh, printed in English. Okay, so it's time to take a closer look at the back side of this light. And uh, I'll show you the controls, what they do. Now, if you take this off, which you can do, the controls, the original markings for the controls are apparent. You can see them. What you're going to notice here, and uh, it's uh, all on this side, you'll notice some white markings. Those weren't white when I got this light. I didn't mean that to rhyme, it just did. So, what I had to do, and I've done this with other devices, I have some uh, uh, acrylic uh, paint. Then I will paint over the recesses which are in the embossed, or I should say debossed, uh, icons and text, like on this bumper. On black. Whereas so, let's start with the button right here. If I hold this down, it wakes up the light unit and the display comes on. If you want to turn the light on, you tap it again, just a quick push. The light just came on, and uh, let me uh, turn this around for you. You can see that's uh, CCT lighting at 3200 Kelvin and a 15% on the dimmer. So, talking about these controls, now this, these two controls obviously are your uh, dimmer. Uh, increase or decrease. I went down to zero. Now we're going to go up and you can see the display will start registering the percentage. So that dimmer works with um, almost all of the lighting options. Let's bring it back. We were at zero. Okay, so power, dimmer. Then 
you go over to the left here, and at the um, at the top, you have M for mode. Right now, it's just standard lighting. Turn it a little this way. I hit it again, and we go to the specialty lighting. These if I hit the mode switch uh, again, I'm going to go into the RGB, and I'm at 356 right now. Point being, there are just a lot of options with this light. And uh, all of your controls being on the back side, um, with that digital display, um, you can do quite a bit. Uh, you can see the back side of the uh, light and uh, all of those controls we talked about, and you can then see the uh, original markings that the manufacturer put directly into the case. But of course, once you put the protective bumper on, you don't see any of that. That's when the uh, markings I enlightened with that uh, white infill become helpful. Okay, well by now you've uh, seen the uh, a portion of my review video uh, when I reviewed just the light by itself, and I think you might be getting my point. Uh, excellent light, but the packaging of the kit, I think they could have knocked off at least uh, 30, 40 bucks off the kit. From uh, 190, it could have been a 150. Um, they're great lights, but I think they'd move a lot more of them if they, um, if they didn't uh, hit so hard on the added uh, small tripod accessory item. Uh, it just doesn't seem for me to support that extra money. Now that I'm aware that I had reviewed the light for only 50 and again, even if the light were 60 or 65, I think it's a very, very well-built light. And uh, I might add, they didn't uh, indicate the IP67 rating uh, that was in the previous light. There could have been a problem with that. Maybe that's why it's not being advertised in the kit package here with, you know, the two complete light uh, systems.